Again, we are back with Dr. Veronica, our expert today, and we have a very good question when it comes to the money, finance, taxes, retirement, and all those kind of things. Mm -hmm. But the question I have for you is this one. Uh, this comes from our background. Mm. When we talk about immigrants, we have different groups. If you look about most of the people from Latin America, especially or Mexicans, for instance, mm. they are more into business. They have their restaurants, they have their cutting grass businesses, snow removal business, they have so many businesses. Okay. If you talk about Asians, they have so many businesses. In Africa, some immigrants, they have businesses, but it's not a lot mm. of Africans have businesses. And to me, is when we come here, obviously, where we, we are from, majority of people are getting used to work. Yeah. That is the only way. Mm -hmm. uh, we come here, we see that is the only way to continue. Mm -hmm. And we don't have many examples. Mm -hmm. For instance, if we compare uh, East Africans and West Africans, West mm -hmm. Africans are more, they are sh sharing those kind of things, but East Africans, we are not. Mm -hmm. If within East Africa, if you compare Kenya and Tanzania, Kenyans more uh, uh, can do business, mm -hmm. but Tanzanians, very few are business owners. Yes. So all those kind of things are having implement, I mean, uh, some impacts when it comes to the taxation, when it comes to different ways on how to pay less tax legally and how to deduct some of the expenses and so forth. Mm -hmm. So how do you advise people who are working to find different ways also to deduct some of the deduction in tax trick advantages? Mm -hmm. And you, what should they do? Sh not necessarily to quit their job, but even the side the things they are doing. What yeah. should they do? And what are the tricks you can advise people to take? Like how Trump or other business <laughs> billionaires, they're not paying tax, but legally. Mm, yeah. Wow, that's a very, very um, heavy question. And the reason why I'm saying that is because it's a very broad question. You know, tax is a very big topic um, here in America. And just like a little disclaimer, I'm going to put it out there. So first of all, I'm not a CPA. So when it comes to auditing, bookkeeping and tax filing i'm not the person but when it comes to tax strategies then yes so we do actually coordinate with cp and tax people to make sure we bring this the taxes piece since i mean the strategies piece since i'm the financial person so let's talk a little bit about about just regular taxes when you look at taxes in general yes there's so many different ways to pay taxes in america okay number one this income tax this tax when you go buy something this tax when you go save something you know what I mean? Your money in a portfolio. Well, there's also a tax when you die. So you need to understand how different taxes are, are set up and how they could affect you and your money. You know, the issue is not paying taxes. The issue is overpaying in taxes. Yeah. You know, double taxation. Because a lot of people pay taxes but don't understand how to pay taxes. So America has something called tax codes. Okay, so us understanding those tax codes and what we can take advantage of is what is going to allow you to stop overpaying in taxes or doing what's called double taxation because you can pay taxes up to what you're legally allowed to pay and not overpay back to the system. So, for instance, I'm here, Ernest. I flew all the way to come see you and I got my hair done. Guess what? That's tax free. That's, yeah. Why? Because it's a business trip, it's business related. But what if I was a W-2? Does that mean I should not make my hair? I can you still make my hair, it. but I got to pay tax for it. So there are so many advantages with number one, being a business owner. So if you own a business, and don't get me wrong, there are different kind of businesses out there, and the different businesses can deduct different things, but you can literally utilize your business to save you a lot in taxes because when you look at most of those tax codes are to favor business owners. So you cannot just get into the country and just relax and just be a W-2. And that is how people complain. They say, oh, taxes go up, it's not fair, tax the rich. But the rich don't want to be W-2. How many rich people do you know that are employees? We just say tax the rich, right? But they made a decision to say, you know what, let me understand the system, let me make more money and save money and pay less taxes legally because they understood the system. Then you're going to be mad and say tax them because they were proactive to learn how the system worked. Come on, you know. So instead of us being lazy and so, I mean, I say, I call it intellectual laziness because most of us, as immigrants, we're very smart when it comes to school, when it comes to working hard, but we don't want to learn, you know, the system. We don't want to learn, like, personal finance and things like that. We feel like that is something for lazy people, people who are not busy. 
Yeah. But we forget that you are busy building for somebody else and not your own legacy. So who's a, who's a, who becomes funny later, you know? So at the end of the day, Ernest, being a business owner is very powerful. So what I would definitely encourage um, fellow professionals, even if you still have a full-time job, yes, we understand you love your career and whatever, own a business on the side, you know? Okay, as you said, somebody could say, hey, maybe I own a business where I'm making food. You know, we're making chapati, samosas, you know, puff puff or whatever it is. Then at least register the business. <clears throat> register, yeah. yes. You All you do, you're good at making suya and puff puff or whatever. How about you register it? You know, people exactly. think, oh, because when you pay me cash, I'm going to keep paying taxes. Okay, fine, that is cute. But guess what? You cannot deduct anything else. Yeah. You see? So at the end of the day, who's losing? It's you. It's you. So there is power in having a registered business and pay taxes legally up to what you are allowed to pay but don't overpay tax because legally you can deduct a lot through your business yeah and the, people do not know that like so as we said like we have so small business like someone can make here someone can make every weekend can make like 800 a month mm -hmm. but oh it's oh i don't pay tax i put it but in the end in a long time you are not going to benefit Right. Because Ernest, I was looking at, I, I was talking to somebody the other day and I said, okay, I'm about to get a new car. But I know for a fact, if I get a new car that is at 6,000 pounds, guess what? I can deduct yeah. through my, if it's my business, okay? If, if it's for business related, I can deduct. But somebody else who's a W-2 can get the same car. They don't get a tax break there. You see? But we're both driving the same car. So that's where the biggest gap is. You can eat lunch, is business <laughs> lunch, or you can eat lunch, just no more yeah. lunch, in the, whatever you eat. Right, or vacation, right? So people go on vacation, hey, it's Christmas, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. So what if you're in, 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 a, in, a, in, a, in business with your partner or your, your family member, whatever, you can go there on vacation, you spend 30 minutes, and you talk something business related, shoot. That's a business trip right there. All my trips so to what is Africa it are business trip? related. I'm going there to stay for <laughs> vacation. My flight ticket, Airbnb, every food I eat, I make the videos, then I come back here. I made it, I mean, it's business related. Hey, you see, I'm telling you. Don't get the player. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you, you got to register, you know, but people have YouTube channels, as you said, yeah. and they're not registered and they'll say, oh, it's not fair. How come other people? But you have this, the tools. We all have them already. It's just that we don't know how to utilize what is already in the system to our advantage and it all starts from lack of information or misinformation and just let me put to some people most of the states here in the u.s to legal register a business cannot go a hundred dollar in missouri it's 25 dollar what yeah, 25 wow you see. i know you know california is a little bit expensive 75 going to 100 but it's just like most of the states just 25 to 50 dollar so wow. even if it's more, it's just like 100, 200, but in the end, you're going to be fully registered. So people wow. should not take this as a big, big deal. You mm -hmm. can do it faster and just start something. Even if you don't get a profit, mm -hmm. but you have something in a professional way and you right. can be able to deduct it. all those kind of things can take advantage of. Right. Even right. like when it comes to the uh, COVID fund, some people... Mm -hmm. The, those who benefited from they had business True. whether they didn't make a profit or whatever they had a business True. you cannot just say oh, i have a business but w w show the evidence you don't have so those yes. are very good advice you have been sharing thank you so much on that you're welcome